Okay, so here's my back section for this build. Well, uh, this is going to be the engine compartment. I'm using um, one inch by one inch uh, square tubing. Some of you might think that it's going to be too weak. But trust me, it's going to be fine. I want to try to make this cart as light as possible like I did the sexy machine. Put as less steel on here as possible and still make it nice and strong. So yeah, if I want to make like louvers or in, um, and flares or later on or um, a spoiler. I can do that out of fiberglass, light material. I'm not going to use steel to be doing all that. But I need it, I need it, it thick enough on the out, outer diameter so the, the head of the bolt wouldn't hit the frame or else I wouldn't be able to put the bolt in, right? So what I did was I inserted this pipe here into this one. and made these so once this goes and I also made these because this will work like this this will work like this it's gonna be like a hinge a three piece right and the bolt will slide inside and this worked out perfect because I don't know if you guys can see the head of the bolt excuse me the head of the bolt just lines up with the almost flush with this I don't want the outside I don't want these parts here the bolt rotating on that part I do I only want the bolt rotating on the center part right if you get what I mean so only the center part is going to rotate. I want these the bolt to stay stationary in here. And I can't weld the bolt to these obviously because or else I won't be able to get the bolt out if I ever have to. So that's how it's going to work. And some of you might say, yeah, why didn't you just use a quarter inch steel for the, the brackets for the pivot? I could have, but and I've seen people do that, but... I'm a little afraid after this thing takes a little bit of abuse that um, a quarter inch will not be enough because the movement of the rear end, the weight of the engine, the movement of the rear end is going to start to elongate that quarter inch bracket, quarter inch thick bracket anyway. So that's why I went this wide. The bolt will go through here this gives it more support so the bolt won't move so much so yeah i think this will it'll work out perfect okay guys here's where i stand with this i did the pivot or hinge uh and yeah, works great. And I drilled a hole in here and I put a, a grease uh, fitting. Grease fitting, grease nibble. I like calling them nibbles. Okay, here's where I am so far with the back part of the, of the cart. Uh, I did end up getting a plate for the engine, which is gonna sit here. And what I'm going to do also is right here, I'm going to cut this. I'm going to slice this bar right here. I welded it on both sides. This way I can 
install and remove the axle whenever I want freely instead of removing everything like I did on the sexy machine. On the sexy machine, I left it. I actually might end up doing that on the sexy machine after. But, um, yeah, I have the pivot here. Right now, it's nice and tight, just like I like them. But I'll free this up. And what's happening right now is this bar here is pivoting on the bolt. Like I said before, I don't want this bar to pivot on the bolt. I want it to pivot in the center here where there's more support. So what I think I'm going to do is on both sides, I'm going to drill a hole. I'm going to tap it and put a set screw in here to keep the bolt uh, sturdy with this, locked in with this, so it can pivot on this middle part here. And then if I ever need to remove the bolt, I'll just undo that uh, set screw. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to clean this up, finish some welds. I haven't finished completely all the welds and everything. No point in me showing you me welding because you guys already seen that in many videos and in mine. And then once I clean all this part, these parts well just played onto the bars here I'm going to uh, start on the front end and make uh, the back for the front end the um, I'm not gonna make a roll cage on this cart just because I want to keep it light and a roll cage just adds more weight to it so I gotta figure out how to do that and then figure out on where to put the springs that'll be on my next video also for the front end on this go-kart uh, I watched T-Man's uh, build on the um, on one of his go-karts the full screen machine you guys should watch that he did an excellent job on his A-arms for the front suspension um, even though I think it was an excellent job I'm not gonna go that far like it was he put a lot of work into that so I'm not gonna go into that that much work but he he put it in a lot of work but he actually did a really really nice job on it so um, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with the front end figure out this part and uh, yeah I'm gonna leave this video right here and stay tuned for the second part of it. Uh, you guys go out there and you watch T-Man's go-karts. He actually has a, a nice video of Batmobile that he built. So go watch that. And the full screen machine. And he's got that other excellent videos. At Zark, uh Watch his channel. He's also got a different channel. It's called the Tool uh, Review. Which is uh, an excellent channel. To, uh, he reviews equipment, tools and equipment and that. And check out David Johnson. He's got his Murray going. And you'll see the big smile on his face. And all the subscribers and people to comment and watch my videos. Thanks guys. Cheers.